Hi there, Daniel. Hello. This is Boxing Beats and Rhymes for the UK. I was trying to hit you up on Facebook. Oh, was this a try? Boxing Beats and Rhymes. I was hitting you up on Facebook. I wanted to talk about... Just br- um, go over your... Oh, bit. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. How you doing, man? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. We were just so seeing you, how you... You're in the UK right now? Yeah, we're in the UK. We're in the UK. I've got... Yeah, I love that accent, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know how we do over here. I've got Errol Jarrett, partner, and Chris Caban, who's from North Carolina. How so, you doing, Daniel? Oh, oh, okay. Well, you're from North Carolina? No, my friend Chris Caban, he's online too, because we're on Skype. Oh, okay, how you doing, brother? He's a partner. You there, Chris? I guess Chris, Chris. Uh, I don't yeah, know okay, what's happened to Chris, Chris but Errol's I'm, there anyway. Yeah, I'm from London. How you doing, Edward? Everything is love. Everything is love. Yeah. All right, go, all right, go ahead. Beats, crack on, man. So, um, how's the? How, how's, I know you fought once this year. I haven't managed to get hold of the fight. How, how you, are you? Are you back on track? Are you happy with things? I mean, actually, you know, that fight was... I mean, I, I, I decided to jump back in there. And it was a great opportunity with the you know, middleweight boxing tournament. Unfortunately, it didn't go the way I wanted to. But I'm back on track as far as business, as far as the boxing, me fighting, not necessarily with the loss. But I was still, I was still excited to get back in there and, and do it because I have a lot of fighters that I'm training. You know, I got my boxing promotion company, so it was a good way for me to show my fighters and show everybody that hey, I still got it. Okay, yeah, because I saw you commentate. Who do you commentate for? Wait, I commentate for? Yeah, I see you commentating. I, I commentated for uh, uh, Golden Gloves. Uh, I commentated for a Square Ring for Roy Jones' fight uh, a couple of times. Um, so I've done I've done a few commentating gigs. So have you got a love for that? Uh, did, I, did I get a lot for it? No, do you love? No, nah, forget the money. If you love doing something, the money will come. I said, oh, yeah, have you got yeah, a love? Yeah, yeah. You have... I, I, yeah, I love the, the promotion and the commentating. I love it. That's more of my passion now. I mean, the fighting, I love it. I yeah. still love fighting, but fighting hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I just got to be honest, man. I mean, I've been mean, getting punched in the head and, you know, all that stuff. I mean, I'm a, I think my time has passed with it. You yeah. know, I enjoy it. I still enjoy it at times, but at times. You were the like, very you know, competitive guy, though. Like, what was it like sharing the ring with Jermaine? I mean, you fought Jermaine Taylor when Jermaine Taylor was Jermaine Taylor. So, yes, yes, yes. I was, I mean... That experience in itself was just is memorable because, I mean, a lot of times it's not the actual fight, but it's where the fight takes place in the whole atmosphere. And being in L.A. at the Staples Center, that was just, you know, you know something you watch on TV, you see the basketball games, you see all the stars, and being there and having all the stars there. And it was just, I mean, Denzel Washington, Jack, I mean, I'm in the corner, Jack Nicholson comes and taps me on my leg. He says, wave to my girlfriend, she loves you. My whole corner turns and we're like, that's Jack Nicholson. I mean, his girlfriend, I mean, you know, because we're, you know, we're little boys from Haiti, man. You know, yeah. seeing all these people see us is a beautiful thing. The, yeah, the Haitian sensation. See, that's the good thing, yeah, man. You know. Like, you get to mingle amongst guys like Jack Nicholson and a whole load of people who are just notoriously big. So you, you do get props. I mean, the, the thing I know is like, for some reason, Jermaine Taylor looked like a light heavyweight compared to you. Like size, yeah, right? he looked I mean, a lot bigger. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, he was a beast, man. He looked, <laughs> he was so tall and I mean strong, and he's he's naturally a super middleweight. But you know, you know, he, the, the, the fight, the catch weight for that fight was being one sixty three as well. So yeah, it wasn't the fight. The odds for that fight were not for me, right? But we we took that fight. You know, uh, my management. You know, that's one thing. My management has always been one or two steps behind the game, but we took it because we realized that. It'd probably be more of a help than hurt, but uh, I, I, I think, you know, if we were going to wage a couple more fights, we could have got a world title shot at Jermaine Taylor and more money. You never know. That's the, you never know. Like, Errol. I mean, that's, you know, that's the management job, but, you know, yeah. that wasn't my job. Errol, Daniel fought um, Bernard Hopkins' cousin, Willie Gibbs. You should, it's a great fight. Remember that one? Oh, of course. How can I forget? <laughs> he knocked him out. And that was like, well, he was, undefe- was he undefeated? You are, or he had a big long chaos streak anyway. Oh yeah, say it again. I'm sorry. Was he undefeated when you beat him? I can't remember. Oh yeah, he was, yeah, he, he was undefeated. We both were undefeated at the time. Yeah. Um, and, and yeah, it was, it was that was a crazy fight because you know I felt to, totally disrespected the fight because I was fighting his, his, him on his grounds, his promoter. So you know, I mean, if you know boxing, you know when you're fighting the other guy's promoter, 
they, they they treat you like shit. You don't get much love, and yeah, you know. So when I went there, I mean, it was it was just chaos, man. So I told them, and then when I got into the ring. I said, I'm gonna, you know, this is personal, not business. <laughs> But man, and, you if, all... and if you remember that fight, it was a personal fight. We were just swinging. It was just yeah, yeah, bullets was. and gun smoke, bullets and gun smoke. Yeah, you was you're you're all action fighter, man. There's no doubt about it. You're definitely all action thank fighter, you, man. man. But thank you, thank you. So what's happening with the record label? You got a record label now? Yeah, the World Legacy Records. You know, we're in the process of building this company. Um, we got a few great artists, and uh, we're just in the process of building them. Our main artist right now, we got is an artist by the name of Asla. She's a great R&B singer. I mean, she's toured the world with all the top artists. You know I mean, she's um, she did tours with Diddy, Jay Z, Rihanna, Lauren Hill. Um, she's currently with Fantasia. Um, she's been on Fantasia for years, but right now we're working on her solo project, and we got a, the promo CD. I don't, um, I'm not sure if you checked it out online. No, uh, we'll I, I definitely am going to do that. Le- leave us some details and leave the the people who are listening. Some details before you go. Make sure you do that. All yeah, the content, definitely, yeah, definitely. You, you can check her on her website. It's www.iloveasela, A-S-E-E-L-A-H.com. And um, you can go there or, you know, you can go to uh, Reverb Nation or Dat Piff and put in the name Asla, A-S-E-E-L-A-H. Um, Asla means authentic and original. She, you know, she's doing her thing. I mean, she's she's our prized possession right now. and she, She's our jewel. Um, like I said, she's been on tours with everybody, and now we have the opportunity to promote her and push her. She's given us that opportunity, getting ready to do some things in New York with some great producers up there. Uh, we have um, some top Haitian artists, uh, a Haitian group named Rock Farm. Uh, they're one of the major uh, top Haitian bands, uh, not bands, but Haitian rap groups in Haiti. Okay. But uh, a couple of the guys have gone solo, and we're working with them. Master Preacher and I was one of them. Topi X is another one. So, Topi X has his album release party April 19th in Haiti. Master Preacher was still working on his album. So, we're just, I'm just having fun with that because it's just it's something I enjoy. I enjoy world music. I enjoy music, period. But, you know, I like, you know, provide and send out good, clean, fun music that people can enjoy. Yeah. So, how did it come about that you started a label? What made you turn to that? Was um, it- actually, I've, I've, always been, I've always been involved in music since a little kid. I always played drums. Uh, I played French horn, alto sax. Uh, uh, so music has always been in my blood. And um, then as I got older, I just, as about 18, 19, I started working with a lot of different um, um, rappers and kind of uh, kind of trying to, you know, they were doing the gangster rap, so I was trying to take them and put them more into the positive and bring them to the church and have them, you know, bring something positive. Or, or kind of not positive, but change, tell their story, but in a more positive way. Yeah. And Some then it just develop from there. Yeah. yeah, just develop from there. Just, you know, and then, uh, I kind of took a break for a while because of the boxing, and then you know, and now I was able to get back into it because it's entertainment, boxing, music—they all go hand in hand. Yes. And yes. I, I found myself said, okay, this is a great way. Uh, as I'm doing my boxing promotion company, you need entertainment with it, and why not collab, uh, combine the two and do a collab with both of them? And that's what we're doing now. That's excellent stuff, man. That's excellent stuff. So, um. There's some good Haitian fighters out there, man. Like we got Pascal, we got Adonis Stevenson. How you feeling, them brothers there? Yo, they they they're all beasts, man. Because I I'm glad that they're doing their thing. I laid the foundation. I started back in you know I'm the pioneer of this thing. I started this thing back in 2002, you yeah. know, and I'm I'm glad that a decade later that you know the fruits of my labor are being seen. You know, May 10th, y'all check out Bermain Stavern. He's going to be on ESPN fighting for the heavyweight WBC heavyweight title. And which is a beautiful thing. We're excited about that. Yes. You know, you know, so you guys check them out. You know, so I, I push them all. I rip them all. And I'm, you know, actually, yeah, we got the website, www.island-boxing.com. You guys can check that out. You can check out all the latest island news about your island fighters. We got uh, Nicholas Walter. She's fighting May 31st. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah from Jamaica. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, from Jamaica. But the, 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 this is the Haitian connection. His manager is Haitian, uh, okay. Jacques Deschamps. Uh, oh. So what language Sorry? was he speaking? We need to know that, Errol. What la- so tell us what language? Because he speaks another language. What language Spanish, is he speaking? He speaks Spanish, man. Spanish, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. Because Walter, he speaks, you know, Spanish, English, Patois, all that stuff, Damn. man. He's he's <laughs> he's multi diverse, man. He's a, he's a great yeah. boxer, good guy. You know, he's a stand up guy, man. So I'm, I was fighting Vic Darchinian. Uh, they just announced it to, uh, today. 
Oh, uh, who's fighting Dick Touching in? Nick, oh, Nick, oh, is it? Well, that's a, oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> that's a yeah, mismatch. That's, yeah. that's, that's going to be a great fight. It's going to be bullets and gun smoke. So, um, yeah. so you, but Nicholas Walsh should get him. You know, he's, he's a young guy coming up. You know, Nick Touching in, he's 30, I think 38 years old now. Yeah, man. You know, he's, been, he's been through so many wars. I mean, Nicholas Walsh is a fresh young guy. He should. He should take them out, you know, pretty, you know, relatively easy. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we hope, we hope. But, you know, one thing about Nicholas Walsh is he trains hard. He trains very hard. Um, so May is going to be a very busy month for me. Uh, but Man Stavarn, he's in Las Vegas training very hard for his fight against Chris Arriola. He beat him before last year. Yeah, so, he hey, man, I think he's going to do it again. This time he's going to really, you know, last time he dropped him, he couldn't really finish him. He, he had a little, you know, uh, stamina issue. We're making sure this time he doesn't have that issue. He goes in there and handles business, so uh, Donna Stevenson is going to be fighting in May as well. Um, he's going to be defending his title. and uh, Still going through disputes with HBO and Showtime. They're going back and forth, but still, I mean, I- I'm just glad that our Haitian fighters are doing all of these great things. Oh, yeah. You know, I, you know unfortunately, I didn't have the, the, the shot to do all of that as much as they're doing it now in the world title aspect, but I'm glad that Yo, I you're pioneer, Like show. you're saying, you was one of the Four four runners and you know you got like let's yeah, not yeah, forget yeah, Andre Berto, yeah Andre Berto's coming back and he's held belts as well, so you know yes sir yes sir so I mean uh, things are, things are great on this side you know yeah, we got yeah, and yeah. I got you know we got Wilkie Camfort he's sixteen and one we got Isaiah Gustama these are all the fighters who fought in my two thousand eight Olympic team but these guys are all doing great as professionals right now okay. we have Evans Pierre Evans Pierre he's rated number twenty one in the world in the WBA. Um, he's out of Haiti as well. He's uh, 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 twenty-two and one. So I mean, the Haitian fighters. I mean, we're, we're coming up. There's a big, big class of Haitian fighters coming up that people have yet to see. Um, you guys know about the ones you know now, but there's a whole new crop coming up um, that I've been working with, and and then there's another generation behind them. And the 2012 Olympic team that I took, they didn't go to the Olympics, but the national team, and we have them coming up. We have Stan, uh, Stan's class. He's eight and zero as a pro. Um, so let's just say, you know, we got Frankie Gideon, he's six and one. Um, so it's a whole nother crop of fighters that I've, I've been able to work with, two generations of Haitian fighters that I've worked with, and I'm just blessed to be part of that whole thing. Wow, that's great. Oh, that's man. lovely, man. The first time I actually heard of you, I think I, I was listening to a Billy C, and um, I think he interviewed you getting ready for the tournament as well. I saw the tournament as well. But um, yeah, man, yeah. You, what, you're, um, you're, you're doing great work, man. It's great work. It's great oh, to thank hear you, that. Thank you. Now, yeah. I'm glad you mentioned Billy C because we're partnering with Billy C as well. I'm going to be starting my own online show uh, called Conversation with Sensation. We'll be starting that, I think, at the end of April, actually. At the end of April, I think we're going to air it, actually, no, May 3rd or May 4th is when we're going to air it. We're still working on the dates, but Conversation with Sensation is basically going to be um, um, uh, a one-hour talk boxing show. Um, showing island fighters, you know, really, because there's no voice for the island fighters. So yeah. I really, yeah. I take my hat off to you guys for even taking the time to look for me, look me up, look me up, and I'm definitely going to connect with a lot of the Haitian fighters so you guys can have more. I mean, because well, without you guys, we don't send have Send them over here. Up. We'd love to talk to them, you know? Yes, sir. We'd love to talk to them, you know? That's what we, we, we try and get the prospects because a lot of people always want to finish article. No, we don't do that here. We, we do grassroots boxing and like you can check our credentials it's all knowledgeable respectful hard questions fun questions and just real boxing you know that's what we're definitely, around definitely. yeah 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 you know, I'm, I'm glad that i'm getting this call from you guys so you guys can plug up my you know the, my the Asla, beautiful artist also plug her up there in uk and you know you gotta check out the the cd i love asla.com you know check her out the, the new of her promo mix is high points finest you guys can go check her out and, you know, push that music out there for us, too, and let the whole world hear about the fighters we have. And we, I'm really excited because I, I, I know I'm coming there soon. I haven't been, but now I got the connection. I'm going to come. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Excellent, yeah. We, hey, we, we come to, hey, boy, when you come over, we try to try hook up, try to meet you up, man. Oh, yeah, definitely. Man. No, no. When I'm coming, when I'm coming, it's going to be off your invitation. I'm coming to see you guys. I'm not coming <laughs> just to come. I, I, like I said, I got the connection, so I'm coming to hang with you guys. So it's going to be... Relatively soon, hopefully, I can come with some of the artists and we can have a nice show and enjoy ourselves. We can all yeah, make some we, money. Yeah, yeah, we're on it, man. We're on it. We're on it. We're on it. We're on it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds all good. Right. Look, if, man. If, if it's all right. Is it cool <laughs> if we hit, hit you back up again? Not every week, obviously, but you know. 
Say it again? Is it cool if we hit you back up to talk again? You know, like just some, maybe some yeah, general boxing or, or how you, yeah. You can call me anytime. Call me anytime. Hey, I'll make myself, you know, if I don't answer, hit me right back or whatnot or just send me an email and let me know. And I'm definitely here for you guys because like I said, without you guys, you know, there, there is, you know, people don't know. Without you guys spreading the word, how are people in UK going to know about us unless, you know, people like you guys take that time to do it. So I really appreciate you guys for taking that time. No problem, man. Okay. No problem. We really appreciate that, Daniel. Really appreciate yeah. that. Good luck so, in whatever yeah. you do. If you decide to fight again, if you're training, your records, let us know. If you've got any any big hits coming out, let us know. If we can maybe even preview one on the start of the video or something like that. Any tracks you, you like for the artists, what, you, what you'd like us to do, we, we, we've got your back on it. No problem at all. Definitely, definitely. So what I'll do is, you know, anything, I'll, I'll reply to you on Facebook and let you know, and then we'll keep contact. This is your number here to reach you, right? Yes, yes, yes. Definitely, definitely. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you for the time and the, the, the energy. I'm, I really appreciate it. Man. All right. Before you all go, right. I know you've done the, um, the websites and the Facebook numbers. Drop yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna shoot that out again. We got yes. the boxing website but for the you know, if you want to get your latest boxing news on Island Fighters, you can go to www.island boxing.com. That's island boxing.com. Um, also from the artist Asla, you can go to I love Asla, A S E E L A H dot com. I love Asla dot com, or you go to Reverb Nation or dot piff. And put in Asla, and you'll you'll get the promo mix, High Points Finest. Um, like I said, she's she's the next R and B sensation. And if you don't believe me, check it out. You're gonna hear it. Uh, you can go to YouTube and Google Topi X T O P P Y X or Master Preacher on YouTube, and you'll see the other artists and um, and show us some love. I mean, like you know, go there, leave a comment. You know, you can go ahead and tell me what you think. You know, we appreciate it. Go to islandboxing.com, leave comments. I love Oslo.com, leave comments. We appreciate all of it. Mm -hmm. You heard the man, that's Daniel Edward. You know what I mean? Big yourself up, and we'll talk to you soon. We really appreciate your I time. Appreciate it. One love. Yes, one love. Big all up. All right, man. Take care, yeah. champ. Peace. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.